Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now, in this video, we're going to look at how we go about drawing a roof plan in AutoCAD. I have a video on this already that I did about two years ago. That video is one hour long. And uh, I realized that with what I've learned over the two years, I can make that video a lot shorter. So that's the reason I'm doing a next roof plan video. All right, so we have a floor plan over here that we're going to do a roof for. When we're finished, it's going to look something like this. All right, so to start with the roof plan, first you have to decide what you want to use for the overhang of a roof. Well, this is a simple residential building and the overhang for such a building is normally somewhere between 450 to 600 millimeters. So we're going to use an overhang of 450 millimeters. And overhang is the part of the roof that hangs over the walls, the external walls, hence the term overhang. So let's go. So we'll start by drawing a line. So I'm just going to select a line. I'm going to come to the edge of the building here. I'm going to move my cursor up without clicking anything. I'm going to type 450, which means I'm going to draw this line 450 millimeters away from the building. Oh, and ensure that you have um, ortho turned on. So I'm just going to draw this over here, no specific length. You could, I could also offset the external wall by um, 450 and then change it to a solid line. Or you could also do what I'm doing right here. So I'm going to draw the next line on this side here. So I'm just going to come here, right at this side. And I'm going to move my mouse over without clicking anything. And I'm going to type 450, which means I'm starting this 450 away from the wall. And then I'm just going to draw this down here, no specific length. So there we have that. So then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this line up to meet this next line here. Perfect. And then we can trim off this excess by typing TR, enter, enter. Nice. So now that we have this here, we want it on the next side, but we don't have to draw next line. We can just mirror this one. So I'm going to click on this line and, and I'm going to select the mirror tool right here. And I'm going to mirror this from the center. So the, just turn on, ensure that you have midpoint turned on in object snap. All right, ensure that you have midpoint turned on. I always have everything turned on, but ensure that you have midpoint turned on. Good. So I'm just going to use the midpoint, not, not of that line. Let me use the midpoint of this external wall here. So let me just find the midpoint. And the midpoint would be in, indicated by a triangle. So this midpoint here. And click the midpoint and then drag your cursor horizontally. And then you just click anywhere. Um, and then press enter and there I have my next line on this side so then I can trim this excess. So I'm going to do the same for this line here. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select the mirror tool and I'm going to mirror it from this midpoint here and I'm just going to move my cursor up and press enter. So now I just need to extend this line out to meet it like that and then i can extend this line click on it and just drag it out to meet this end right there so there we have the overhang for our roof good so now to complete our our roof plan or to continue it we're going to draw two 45 degree lines which represents our hip rafters okay so to draw the 45 degree lines we're going to turn on polar tracking Click on the drop down arrow and set your angle to 45. Good. So once, it, once you've done that, just come to the corner here. So I'm going to come to this corner and I'm going to draw this line out. No specific distance. You just want to draw, ensure that it passes like this midpoint here. So somewhere about there should be good. And then I'm going to come to this side and do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw this line from this corner over here. Let me just go over a bit. Nice. So this line is going to be drawn from this corner. It's going to come across to here. Then I'm going to trim. TR, enter, enter. All right. And I'm going to trim the, these two points here. Nice. All right. So once I've done that now, I can do the same thing down on this side as well. I could just draw this 45 again no specific length just ensure that it passes like that midpoint there 
and then uh, draw next line from here to make the first 45 degree line that we drew then we can trim these t r enter enter all right so good so i have those trimmed so once i have those trimmed i'm going to join them up right here like this no once they join the size of our rafters are going to be 50 millimeters 50 millimeters all right so the hip rafters and our ridge board is going to be 50 millimeters meaning that when you're looking down on them in a plan view because the roof plan represents the plan view what you'll see when you're looking down on the roof so you're going to see the 50 millimeter section of the ridge board and the hip rafters and also the common rafters so what we're going to do is this slide represents the center so we're not going to offset by 50 we're going to offset by 25 to the left and to the right so offset so type offset and select 25 or you can click on the offset tool right here bring that across bring this here so offset to the left and to the right for all of our lines all of our lines do the same thing for the ridge board as well we're going to offset to the left and to the right just like that perfect perfect and then we're going to do the same thing for these two hip rafters on this side so offset to the left and offset to the right let me just um do this again offset by about 25 so i'll set this and then come over here to this one as well and do the same thing i'll set by 25 and then over here we will also offset by 25 so there we have that perfect so now what we're going to do is let's just clean up these corners a bit so to do that we're going to draw a line here where this line meets this line here we're going to connect it to this side over here good so all of this is our ridge board so let me trim this so let me trim that trim that trim this trim this and I also trim this and this okay um actually let me let me just extend this back over here extend this down to this part so what this represents here this is our ridge board and this is one hip rafter this is the next hip rafter the center lines we're going to delete because we don't need the center lines we just use them to get the total width of our hip rafters and our ridge board but we're going to keep them for now because we might need them all right so to get started with the actual common rafters this is what we're going to do and this is why i said we need these center lines here so this center point here i'm going to come down here and that center point would be equal to this midpoint here and we can see that if we continue this midpoint it comes right to that point good so what we're going to do now is this we're going to draw a line all right from that midpoint and we're going to bring this line up like this not too not too long you don't want the line to be too long and then we're going to offset by 25 to the left and right of this line good and then the space between our common rafters is going to be 600 millimeters from center to center not from end to end from the center of one common rafter to the center of the next common rafter is going to be 600 millimeters so i'm going to type offset again but this time instead of doing an offset of 25 we're going to do an offset of 600 all right so we're going to offset the center line just the center line by 600 and we're going to continue doing that on this side here all right so just continue doing this on this side extending this by 600 all the way to the end i think we have space for one more perfect and then for, we're going to do the same thing on the next side but we don't need to to do the same offset we can just highlight all of these small lines here highlight all of them all of them all of them and then we're going to select the mirror command all right so mirror once we select the mirror command we can just click 
right on this line that we started with this one here and then turn on ortho and just move your cursor down like this and click down here press enter wonderful so we have those center lines nice so once you have those center lines this is what we're going to need to do we're going to use the copy tool and i'm going to copy well i should actually copy this before i did the mirror on this side but it works either way so i'm going to copy from this midpoint here and i'm going to copy that copy this copy this oh, i placed that at the wrong point but no worries we can delete that afterwards all right so let me just go to this last one here and this one this one this one and all of them so this is why i was saying i should have done this before i did the mirror because now i could have just mirrored all of these to the next side and i can still do that but at this point i think it's easier if i just um copy them to these points over here as well all right so we have these these and then we'll do this we'll do that one and that one is the last one and i think i have one here that i need to delete here this lovely so what we're going to do is we're going to extend these lines up to meet our hip rafters all right so to do that we're going to use the extend command so to use the extend command we're going to type extend all right so we're going to type extend and then we're going to select boundary edges and then i'm going to click on that line click on that one as well and then it says select objects so i'm going to press enter after i click on those two lines and then i'm going to click these lines here and what will happen is that when i click them they will extend to the line i don't want to extend the center lines so that's i'm just clicking on these two lines here at the end and uh, yeah so i'll just do this and again i could have done this on one side and then just mirrored it on the other side and i think i'll actually do that here okay all right so let me extend this all right this one and then that one nice all right so once you have that actually what i should have done was to just do one side and then mirror the next side um, with all of these things but we can do this here we can highlight all of these all of these there we go all right so then we'll select copy not copy mirror and we're going to mirror from here from this point here all right and mirror all the way down here so yeah all the mirroring that i did before i didn't need to i could have just done one side and then mirror everything on the next side and then press enter actually yeah, click on no because you don't want to erase the source object all right so once we have this on this side here what we're going to do now is to mirror this all of these over here on this side good but before we mirror um all of that on this side what we're going to do oh i think i missed i think i missed one line so that i needed to extend let me see if i missed it on this side no i just missed it over here okay so let me fix that one and extend this one as well so what i'm going to need to do for that one then is to I'm just zooming. Okay. So I'll just use the extend command. So extend and uh, boundary edges. Click on this, press enter, and then click that. Good. So once we have that now, we're going to do this. We are going to use 
the mirror command once again so i'm going to highlight all of these here all of these all of these all of these let me see if that's all of them all right so now we're going to select the mirror command and we're going to click polar tracking and set the angle to 45 and in this mirror what we're going to do is this we're going to mirror from here from this midpoint here all right where these two lines meet and we're going to mirror down at a 45 degree angle so we're going to mirror oh all right let me do this So let me do this again. I like all of these, all of these. Good. So then when we select the mirror command, it's already set at a 45 degree angle. So I can start here. All right, so I can start here and go all the way over to this line here that midpoint and click enter and now we have these rafters on this side so then once we have these rafters on this side let me just extend this a bit let me just extend this down to this point here from here to there And then good so we have that so now once we have that there we can now do it on the next side so to mirror this on the next side we can do a number of things we can do the same 45 degree mirror and then put it on the next side or we can just highlight all of these lines here highlight every single one of these lines all of them all of them and then we're going to select the mirror command again let me just turn on ortho this time select the mirror command and we're going to mirror this now so we can mirror it from this midpoint here and just move your cursor down and just click anywhere down and click no where it says area source object click no wonderful so now we have this all of these on this side so now that we have all of these on this side we can bring them over this side with a simple mirror so we're just going to highlight all of these lines here every single one highlight all of them good and then we're going to highlight these as well we don't want the, the, the center lines we just want the these lines here okay so let me just highlight these and i'm trying not to click on a line i don't want because if i click on a line that i don't want I'm going to have to redo all of this copy or selection which I don't want to do so I'm just taking my time and selecting the right stuff there we go there we go lovely 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 all right so this is good there we go and then we click, click those Highlight all of these, all of these. There we go. And there we go. Nice. So now, what we're going to do is to select mirror. Alright, it's going to ask where you want to mirror it from. We're going to mirror it from this midpoint here. Alright, and just bring your cursor out. Erase source object. No. <coughs> and there we have that. So now all we need are the rafters that are going to go in here so to get those rafters that are going to go in there what we can do is this we can offset these rafters here by 600 because it would be the same thing yeah so we can offset by 600 it would be the same thing as offset in the center yeah so let's offset by 600 so 
we are going to offset 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 so let me see that the offset tool um 600 is the distance it's only for some reason it only allows me to offset one line at a time i don't know if i'm not getting something with this version of autocad so what i'll do is this it's because i can't offset well i can copy by 600 but let me just do this i'm going to offset by 25 by 25 offset by 25 and get this midpoint here like that because you could also copy by 600 but let me just offset that by 25 so i can get that midpoint and then i'm going to offset this midpoint by 600 600 600 600 and then 600 and this is going to be the last one all right so once we have that now if when you do it you realize that there's just a small space here that's no problem if it's too large you do one extra after but but if it's smaller than 600 no problem if it's larger than 600 like very much larger then you just add one extra after no problem at all all right so what we're going to do now is to copy so i'm going to copy this from here to there Copy. And there we go. Nice. Um, so we don't need the centers. I can delete the centers. All of the centers. Let me delete the centers. All right, so then now I'm going to use the extend command. So extend, click on this line here, and then project boundaries, and then now we can extend this line. Um, and it will, all right, let me do this again. Extend command, boundary edges, click on this line, press enter. And then now I can click on this and it will extend to that line. Click on that one, it extends to that line. Click on this one, it extends to that line. Click on this one, it extends to that line. And we also need to extend that one as well, right there. Oh, we have a few that we need to extend actually. So we need to extend this one, all of these on this side. All right, no problem to extend. And we need to extend these as well. That's no problem because what we can do is to type the extend command. All right, so we'll just type extend um, boundary edges. And then what we're going to do once we select boundary edges, we're going to click on this line. All right, and we're going to click on this line here. So then we're going to press enter. And then we're going to just highlight these lines and you're going to go right there where we want them to go. So just like that. Just like that. All of these. Good. So we extend all of those to there. All of those are there. We're going to need to extend these down as well, but that is absolutely no problem. So we can also extend these and extend these here. Extend these ones, these ones, these ones, and these ones, and these ones. Good. All right. So once we have that now, this is what we'll do we need to extend these down as well so i'm going to spacebar gives you the previous command so just click spacebar boundary and then click on this one and click enter and then we can just highlight all of these lines and they will they will extend down perfect 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 there we go nice all right so once we have this now what we're going to do is to copy, well, mirror actually. So we're going to mirror. All right, and this is what we need in the center line. So we're going to mirror it anywhere on this center line we can mirror it from. If it's even like right there on that center line and just move our cursor across, like, well, down like this, area source object, no. All right, good, nice. So once we have that now, we can delete these, delete all of these. 
We don't need these centers. Delete, 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 delete these. I'm just highlighting all of these so I can delete them. There we go. And then we just have a few more that we need to delete. So we can delete that. We can delete this. We can delete that. Delete this and delete this. And then we can trim this. Trim that. Delete. There we go. TR, enter, enter. And uh, remove that piece. And we're going to remove that center piece. And then down here, we have a quite a few stuff to remove. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to draw this line. It's going to continue to over here. And this continues to that as well. Yeah, all right. And then now we are going to trim. All right, so we're going to trim here, trim here, trim there, trim there. All right, nice. And we're going to bring this, well, let's just bring it down here for now until we figure out what we're trimming. And then we're going to trim out this piece and this piece. Lovely. And then we're going to trim out that piece and that piece. And then we're going to delete these. And there we go. Nice. So then now we have some trimming to do here. So we're going to trim that and that. Trim that, trim that. Trim these. And I think the reason these are so long is because when I extended them, I think I clicked on the line in the middle instead of the line on the end. So you probably won't have um, all this trimming to do when you do your video. All right, so I'm just going to trim these out. And once I have these all trimmed out now, then you will see the finished roof. All right, so let me just trim these out really quickly. Oh, and we have, we have a next line here that we need to extend also. Okay, no problem. All right, since I'm still in the trim command before I extend those, let me just come over here to ensure that I trim out all of these as well, since I'm already in the trim command. There we go, there we go. Okay, nice. There. Trim that, trim that, and then uh, trim this, trim this, trim that, trim this, trim that. So, a few more left to trim. There we go. All right, and then we're going to trim these ones also. Perfect. And then we just have a few stuff to extend. No, we don't have anything down here to extend. We have this to extend. So let me just click on the extend command again. And then I'm going to click on boundary edges. Click on this line. Oh, boundary edges. Click on this line. Enter and then we can extend that. Anything else that's there to extend? I think that's the only one, nice. So then now I'm going to use the extend command again, click on boundary edges, click on this line, press enter, and then I'm going to extend, I think I only have these two to extend. Perfect, and then I can just trim off this excess here. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Trim this as well. Trim that. That's trimmed. And this needs to be trimmed. Nice. All right, perfect. So we have our roof. Good. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, if you want to know more about like labeling, because I don't want this video to be too long. So if I want to know about like the labeling and adding like the bituminous felt and the different roof materials and so on and so forth, I'm going to post the link to the, my next roof plan video. And you can just look towards the end of that video and you will see the information on how to add your roofing materials and how to add your labels for your roof and everything like that. Good. Alright, so thank you for watching and do have yourselves a fantastic day.